All right, so today we're doing the Yets. You heard me right. The Yankees and the Mets. The Yets. We're doing the New York Super Team. You guys really like the California Super Team we did the other day. Top right-hand corner, if you did miss it, we combined every team from California, put them all into one team, and we just decided to see how well they would do. It actually was a really good team, and you'd be surprised how many Mets snuck into this team. This New York team might actually compete with that that uh california team so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you're new to the channel turn on bell notification icons every single one of you so you're notified whenever a video does go live and also in the comment section let me know which future videos you would like to see do you want to start seeing divisions do you want to see some other states do you want to see by region let me know in the comment section down below this team's really good let's do the yets all right let's take a look at this roster because this team we've put together is incredible but before we get into it i want you guys in the comment section to also let me know who would be part of your new york yets team i was gonna go with the mankeys but it sounds weird we're gonna go with the yets so let me know who would be part of your team who i missed out on so let's take a look at the starting rotation we have degrom severino paxton Syndergaard, and wheeler i thought about throwing stroman in for paxton but paxton actually had a really good season this year stayed healthy that's why I went with him. Severino, when healthy, is a top pitcher in baseball. So that's why I decided to throw him in over, you know, other pitchers. For the most part, if I'm going with a New York team, I'm going with these guys as our starters. Relief pitchers, Adovino, Betances, Britton, all had respectable years this year. Seth Lugo, phenomenal year as well. Um, and then Justin Wilson actually had a decent year this year. Pretty solid, reliable lefty. That's why I went with him over maybe like a Chad Green who did struggle a little bit this year. Justin Wilson, not too bad. So bullpen, I'm pretty happy with. Reliever, you know, when you look at the the last guy you want to put out there, Chapman, we're going to go as our closer. And then call me crazy, we're going to go with Edwin Diaz. I know he struggled this year, but I think he's going to have a bounce back year next year. And we all know what he can do when, like, he's on it. He's a lights out closer. So we're going to give Edwin a chance here with this Yets team. Next up with the catchers. Wilson Ramos and Sanchez, both respectable catchers. Gary Sanchez is scary, though. You got to go with Scary Gary, Gary as your starter, and that's who's going to be our number one catcher. First base, Pete Alonso, hands down. He's, he looks scary. He looks like he's going to be the real deal at first. That hitting, oh, man, just crazy. I decided to go with Edwin, but you definitely could go Luke Voigt as well. Both of them, it's a toss-up between which one you would go with as the backup. Second base, we have DJ LeMahieu and Glaber Torres. The only reason why Jeff McNeil isn't here is because he actually played more games in the outfield than he did the infield this year. So that's why he's listed as an outfielder. But you definitely could throw Jeff McNeil in there, and he would definitely get some playing time. So we have DJ and Glaber Torres as our second baseman. When you move to third, um, I know Andujar was hurt a lot this year but when healthy he was a rookie of the year candidate last year could have easily won it last year but um he's he looks like he's going to be a decent player we have urshela and jd davis who also could really be put into the mix as well shortstop we went with the med rosario really good year this year and that's why i gave it to him over Didi gregorius left field we have stanton and mcneil but mcneil's actually going to be moving into the infield for us but stanton is going to be the hands down left fielder center field we have nimmo i decided to go with him over hicks just because nimmo's a little bit younger and if i was building a team i'd probably go nimmo over hicks actually hicks struggled this year so that's kind of why i also went with uh nimmo aaron judge and conforto i mean both really good players judge obviously the better but conforto's making a name for himself had a pretty good year this year and both of them are going to feature in our outfield so when you look at the pitching rotation it looks like this seth lugo is going to be our long reliever and then we have these guys on the mix and then obviously chapman closing games and then when you hop over to the lineup this is kind of what we're looking like glaber maybe not the best option but we're going to put him at shortstop McNeil's going to play third. We could even swap these two if you really wanted to. And then the rest just kind of explains itself. We'll give Andujar against righties, Edwin against lefties. But this is kind of the team uh, for the DH spot, obviously. But this is the team. It's really good. I mean, you really could just kind of throw anybody in like a different order and it really wouldn't matter. This team is stacked and um, I'm, I'm liking it. It looks really good. It looks like it's going to hit a lot of home runs. Like, the Twins were La Bamba squad this year. I think these New York Yets are going to be a, a pretty good bomb squad themselves. So, let's hop into this first season. I want you guys to let me know who your combination team would have been in the comment section. Other than that, guys, let's let's sim this season. See how things go. 
this team is nuts. Like, it's crazy. Let's let's sim it. Alrighty, so this team was actually pretty good. I mean, when you look at it, 106 and 56, still a really respectable record. If you miss a California rebuild, you obviously don't know if it was better or worse than that team, but go check it out. And then uh, let's go take a look at this team, see how they did. We do have a couple league leaders, but let's take a look at the standings. We won the division by 17 and a half games. We're the first ranked team, one in contact, first in power, first in pitching, and then there are two weak spots, our defense with 20th and our speed at 16. So average wise 270, a 359 team ERA. I mean, the team looks nutty, like scary good. Um, let's see if we like, broke any rec no not that we want team rankings i have a feeling we're pretty high in everything batting average we were off by one runs we had the most by quite a bit hits we had the most doubles no triples actually we we're tied for fifth okay home runs we had the most by almost we had more than 50 over the next team runs batted in the most didn't expect stolen bases or anything but okay pretty respectable offensively and then when we take a look at our notifications we have most home runs and RBIs, and then pitching DeGrom obviously is just insane. When we look at the awards, we have a gold glove for Gary Sanchez and DJ LeMahieu, and a Cy Young Award. So JD Martinez took the MVP over Stanton. Interesting. I'm going to have to look at Stanton's stats because I definitely want to see why he didn't get that. I definitely want to see why we didn't get that. So let's take a look at our pitching. Our pitching was obviously really good. DeGrom won Cy Young with a 3.55 ERA and a 1.17 whip. Okay. Syndergaard actually had a good year. Lately with Sims, Syndergaard's been struggling, but okay. Really good year for Syndergaard. Severino had a good year. I feel like any of the, I feel like these two may have gotten it over DeGrom, but okay. With Paxton had a good year as well. I mean, actually everyone's doing really solid. I'm impressed with our rotation. And then Zach Wheeler as our fifth starter still respectable Seth Lugo had a really good year um 70 innings pitched yeah that's good I love to see it Batances struggled a bit Britton struggled a bit Adovino was okay Justin Wilson was okay um Edwin Diaz not terrible and then whoa 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 hold on time out I was worried about Edwin Diaz this whole time but we got Chapman just deciding to suck what is going on here we're gonna swap these two chapman you're worrying me i don't like to see that so next up we're gonna look at our lineup wilson ramos was really good off the bench um and ed rosario was meh i definitely feel like we could have bumped up his stats a little bit made him a little bit better edwin not terrible off the bench and then nimmo wasn't bad either so when we take a look at our actual starting lineup we have jeff mcneil here who's who's just gonna get on base for you that's what he does and he had a really good year 31 doubles okay glaber torres nuts he's always really good in a sim style franchise so that's good to see dj lemayhew was good aaron judge 30 home runs feel like that's a little low but still respectable pete alonzo did well stanton 50 home runs 133 rbis 268 average now i see why jd martinez got it but still whatever um conforto did well gary sanchez and anduhar so overall really good lineup with this team this team is scary good so let's just take a look at the postseason see who we're going to take on the red sox and we are going to possibly be eliminated first round okay then so i mean we got to hop into it we got to see how this is going we're gonna have Degrom take the mound and we're just gonna we're gonna do our thing we're gonna hop into it all right looking at this team not much has changed Nothing's changed. They've kept it all the same. If we lose, I'm going to be very disappointed in this team. That's a good start. Ed Wing goes deep. Jo oh, whoa. Judge then Stanton go deep. So we went back to back to back. And we're up four to nothing. So we just need DeGrom to not implode and fall apart. DJ LeMahieu gets in on the home run derby. And it's looking like we should be okay. We should be, right? Four hits. Five runs looking like we need to take out DeGrom. Okay, um, let's go Lugo. And let's get these runs back. Bases loaded, one out. That's what I'm talking about. Stanton, then Alonzo, and the game is busted open again. So far, so good. DJ LeMay, who hits his second of the day. I love to see it. Seth Lugo is holding down the fort, which is good as well. So 
as I say that, he goes and allows a two-run bomb. Um, let's go Justin Wilson. He gets the out, and then we'll switch it up. We'll go out of Vino. Allows a run, which is never good. And it's a 12-7 to ball game. And could we add a couple more? No. We're going to leave out of Vino in. He's doing well. And that's the game. So we win. We're taking on the, uh, the Indians. But um, yikes. That was a little little scary didn't like to see that Degrom cannot pitch he's gonna be absolutely dead and we're gonna go like that um ooh, Syndergaard yikes all right so making sure I'm not covering up the screen we're not let's see how we do here what is with this team pitching just falling apart everywhere not good so we're the away team um, uh, I, I, we got to go Severino. Let's hop into it. And uh, no runs there. That's not good. This is not good. This is not good at all. What's going on with this pitching? We just decided to fall apart. Severino is probably done maybe after three, to be honest. Corey Kluber is tearing us apart. Yeah, he's done. Um... I guess our bullpen's absolutely destroyed as well. So it's looking like our starters just aren't going deep into the game. We get one back, and it was a double play. That is weird. That was weird for sure. All right, so five-run game. Four-run game, four-run game. This is uh, looking a little iffy for us. This is not looking good at all. We're going to take out Britton because he's a little tired, and we're going to go to Adovino. Of course, just one run scores casually. What happened? Where's our offense? Why are we not scoring runs? I, it's coming down to this inning. Are we okay? Alonzo's getting us on the board. That's an out. There's a walk. Wow, we got eliminated. What happened to our pitching? I mean, I'm actually. What happened to our offense? Like, when you look during the season, 14 runs, 10 runs, 7, 5, 5, 8. Like, everything looked like it was going swell. Obviously, we lost to the Tigers 10 to 9. Don't know what happened there. And the Rangers. But what happened to our offense? Only two runs. Only one, or only two runs. Only two runs. Only two runs. No runs. Two runs. Two runs. What happened to our offense? That explains something. That explains, that explains it, that explains it. Ooh, now I now I see why we kind of fell apart. All right then, well, that, that didn't go as planned. Well, that's just gonna end it. Obviously the New York super team was not as good as the California team, but that's just the way it is sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. Make sure you turn on notifications. Click that bell icon as well, so you guys are notified whenever a video does go live. And that's about it, guys. Remember to leave a comment. Let me know what you would pick as your New York super team, as well as let me know future videos you would like to see. And then I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.